hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel tech chat in this video i'm going to talk about how to upload files to your linux server so here you can see there is a windows 2016 virtual machines on my screen and also i have created a virtual machine with red hat 7.7 .7 operating system so i will show you that virtual machine also Okay, so guys, this is my Red Hat 7.7 .7 virtual machine. So I created both of these uh, virtual machines in my VMware Workstation Play environment. Um, if you have not idea how to create virtual machines in VMware Workstation Play environment, so you can uh, go and watch my videos under cloud computing video series then you can take an idea and you can create your own testing environment so here you can see my red hat virtual machine so here this is the destination server so my source server will be my windows 2016 virtual machine so i will upload files from this windows 2016 virtual machine machine to my red hat 7.7 .7 virtual machine so to do this we need a third party uh, third party application so i will select winscp so first we need to download winscp on our source computer source machine so my source one is windows 2016 virtual machine so i will open internet explorer so then i will search for to download WinSCP. Okay, so search for download WinSCP presenter. Guys, uh, usually when we search for the anything using IE in Windows 2016, it will not let you to search for anything so in that kind of situation you have to come to your server manager click on local server then come to ie enhanced security configuration and you have to turn off it so i have already turned off it so now click on official site okay so now we are in the download page of winscp.net website okay so till load this website i will show you my red hat virtual machine ip address click on application click on terminal then type if config presenter so this is the ip address 192.168.180.135 so my windows machine also is within this network so this is a slash 24 network so it means that i have connectivity so i will show you uh, that i have connected to this ip address from my windows machine so then what i'm going to do i will upload a file from my windows machine to this red hat machine let's go to our windows machine again Okay, scroll down, click on download WinSCP. Now it is downloading, it is asking for the run and save. I need to save it. So let's view download. So it is downloading. 60 present then okay it was completed so now it's running it's good scan okay no problem okay so now i can see this on my download click on file explorer if not you can right click here and go open containing folder ok 
ओके क्लिक ऑन इट ओके सो यू कैन सी माय विन सी पी सेटअप सो आई एम गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल दिस डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस ओके रन दिस install for all users so i have multiple users for my windows 2016 operating system so let's install for all users uh, till this uh, installation complete search for cmd i'm going to show you the connectivity from this computer to my red hat virtual machine so here sad was open accept license agreement click on next keep the default setting click on next and install okay. search for cmd cmd Okay, present. Okay, let's see the IP details of this Windows 2016 machine. So IP can be present. You can see IP address is 192.168.18.131. So Red Hat machine IP address was 192.168.18.135. So it means both machines are within same network. So it means that I should have connectivity. Let's check the connectivity using pin command one pin 192.168.180.135 this is the red hat machine ip address <laughs> okay guys you can see that reply is coming from that so it means i have connectivity okay open your witness cp you can double click on this icon so then you can select file protocol you which you are going to use you can select ftp cp sftp so sftp is just equivalent for the ftp so i'm going to use sftp so the port number is same as ssh port 22 so host name is you have to add the ip address a host name so ip address is 192.168.180.135 so i will access using root user then i don't need to worry about anything so if we access using user so then i have to worry about the ownership of files so i will be unable to copy i will unable to download anything so i will access using root user then i should not worry about anything root and password i will add my root password press enter let's see whether i can access this connect into host so till this complete okay click on yes using username root authenticate with presented password let's see okay i could access it was successful 
Now I'm going to show you how to upload file. The first I need to create a text file here. So in the left hand side is my Windows machine and right hand side my is my Linux machine. You can see root. So root partition is for the Linux one. So the administrator C drive is for the Windows one. New file. Okay. It is test present okay so this is so add something hi this is for test 10 okay save this and close this you can see my test file okay so now I need to uh, copy this to my root directory. Okay, so from this drop down, you can select root. Okay, now on the root, you can see the directories, it is a home, so those things. So here, I'm going to copy this. I think there's a directory I created here. No, there is no one. Okay, no problem. I'm going to copy this to root so you can simply drag and drop this okay one thing if you drag and drop this to any folder so any directory like this it will copy to that directory okay so remember that so you have to do carefully and okay so you can see directory upload file test to remote directory so you can see the directory slash forward slash it means root directory click on ok ok if you come down ok so you can see test file here so if you need to copy this to your var drag and drop to var so so you can see the content of your Red Hat directories also. So to go to the var, double click on var, then come down and you can see test file. Okay. If you need to come back to previous directory, click on this icon. Okay. So if you need to download this file. So let's see, I need to download this test file to my Windows machine to my uh, different directory. So let's click on so to open the directory so you can click on this icon then you can browse for any folder okay so you can see you can select any directory okay you can see any files from users directory uh, any uh, file a folder from your administrator profile so now we have access using administrator user so we can select desktop uh, we can select downloads so let's select downloads okay so okay now we are working directories for the windows machine is download folder so that's how you can change it so here you can select main direct main folders and drives only but if you click on this, you can select which direct, which folder files are included, which you are going to copy to your Red Hat server. Okay, so now we have selected download folder. So in download folder, we can see in a CV file. So now I need to download a file from my Red Hat server to my Windows download folder. So you can select file. So this is the uploaded file test so i'm going to download it again to my download folder so click on this then you can see download so click on this okay so this is the uh, destination see users administrator download because we selected this part so it will automatically take this part if you need to change it you can browse and you can change it so i'm not going to change it so click ok now you can see the file was downloaded from Red Hat to 
my Windows machine. So guys, this is how you can upload file to a Red Hat server and download files from Red Hat server to your computer. So guys, hope you understood what I did here. So not only WinSCP, there are many other third party application you can use to do this. You can use WinSCP. So like that, there are a few other application. If not, you can upload this using your command line. You have a command FTP, SFTP, so you can do this. But in a future video, I will talk about that, how to do this uh, without any third party application. Using uh, You can do it using your command prompt. So guys, uh, so this is end of today video. Hope you understood what did I do here. So thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Please share these videos with your friends and please follow us on our Facebook and also you can see IT related articles from our website techchat.lk. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video.